Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you're all well. Um, so today I've got a bit of a special video. Um, I've had an idea about making like a series of old decks that are in their prime. Um, so I started playing competitively in about September, October 2018. And from my experience, um, when I started playing, Goki was on the downfall and a deck called Sky Striker was on the rise. So, um, my first meta deck was Trickstar, which I might make an episode on, um, but predominantly for my, um, uh, since I've been playing competitively, Sky Striker has been literally one of the best decks, and it's one of the best, best decks of all time, so I thought I'd do a Orange Origins video, um, sort of Blast from the Past video on Sky Striker and what the deck looked like in its prime, how the meta was, um, when it got introduced, I think it was um, Dark Saviors uh, back in 2018, which is around uh, September, August. And yeah, so this deck was uh, imported from the OCG and straight away it saw uh, success. It won multiple YCSs. It probably, I think, yeah, it won a lot of YCSs, even up till YCS London 2019. Um, so yeah, so... I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna show you guys a profile of what the deck looked like in its prime. Um, so I'm gonna make this uh, thing like a series where we show decks of, um, of when they, they released and how the meta game was. So personally, like when I pick up a deck that I really enjoy, I don't tend to get rid of it or sell it. I tend to keep it just for the nostalgia um, and Sky Striker is one of them. So I, I suppose we'll get straight into to the deck profile. So, um, first things first, we play the six hand traps. So with Sky Striker, most players played six hand traps. Um, obviously at the time, there was loads of like Dark Warrior Turbo. When it got introduced, end of 2018, loads of Thunder Dragon. And then later on, it was like Salaman Great August. Um, but predominantly, there was loads of Sky Striker mirrors in the meta when this deck first came out. So these are the most effective hand traps because you Ghost Ogre the multi-roll. Effect Vela, the Shizuku or the Kagari, and then you Ash Blossom, the Engage or Shizuku as well. Uh, there's reason why we don't play uh, three and three. Some people took the Ogre out and played the side deck. Um, it's just because it's good because Engage allows you to draw so many cards. And there's so many other draw power, so much draw power in the deck that you normally want to see multiples um, of different ones. So this is why we play six hand traps with different names. Because um, obviously the Ghost Sisters wants to turn except for Effect Vela. So yeah, so that's the hand traps. Only six. Um, okay, and I'll see three Ray. At, this, at the time of release, there was no Rose. So Ray was Bay. She was only on her own. Hornet Drones as well was in the deck. But I'm going to do this um, when Hornet Drones was limited. So three Ray. And that is it for the monsters. So yeah, really small monster lineup. Um, and then obviously for the spells, which there are a lot of, in fact, the rest of the deck profile of these spells, we play three engage, play the three widow anchor, three multi roll, the three area zero, and these, in my opinion, are like the best ones, so you want to max out on them. Um, obviously, widow anchor isn't really an engine piece, but the multi roll and the engage and the area zero are the sort of engine pieces so you want to max out on them you want to see them um obviously multiple engages is really good um i could genuinely see you engage getting a rata in the future for once per turn um but that would be a kick in the teeth for the archetype because engage although it was splashed into many decks throughout its um lifespan i just think it's more iconically known in the pure variant and for you'll be using the fact it's not once per turn to get multiple draws off it so yeah, this is the um, sort of traditional lineup for when the deck was first released. And then uh, a few months later, so for the rest of these spells, we play the one Afterburner, one Jamming Waves. We play two Eagle Booster, which I'll get into in a minute. Play the two Shark Cannon, the one Hercules Blaze, and the one Drones. Okay, so let's get onto these ones. So obviously Engage, like recent, like modern day Sky Striker, plays like multiple of like um, Afterburner, three shark cannon none of this and we don't really play the eagle booster but when this deck was first released it was really important to max out the eagle booster 
because it was so good in the mirror match. Um, also, Hercules base allowed us to naturally rookie our resource because Pot of Avarice wasn't legal at the time. So you could like send Hercules base off a multi roll, then um, just recycle all your Sky Striker links. And it's kind of especially important in the 2019 Euros format or the WCQ format um, because Kagari was at one. So this card is really important to rookie back the resource. Um, for then, and then obviously Shark Cannon. Um, this saw more play um, in the 2019 season. However, it was really good, especially in the mirror match. There was an interaction where if your opponent did not summon Kagari um, using Rear's effect, you could Shark Cannon it back and get your opponent's Kagari onto your field and trigger its effects, but only if it was summoned um, by a Link Summon, not by Rear's effects. That's the, the ruling by it, so yeah, that determined whether, yeah, there's so many Sky Striker players in the format, and only the good ones really knew about that interaction, and yeah, it's just insane. So that's it for the one that like the Sky Striker um, utility cards. Obviously, Engage searches you all these, so does Shizuku. Um, so that's why you only play like the one of the Afterburner and um, Jamming Waves, etc. Um, and then for the rest of the spells, we play two Terraform because this card was uh, semi limited at the time. So we play two. Um, that's because obviously it's another spell in Grave. And if, if you draw multiples with the Era Zero, you can just send it off the Era Zero. And more likely, you will just rip and engage off the top anyway. So yeah, really nuts. Um, Rotor because Razor Warrior. And then the goods package, one of my favorite little packages of all time. Because it was just like, it was two spells in Grave plus a draw when you needed it. It was so good. Um, there was loads of mirror matches in the format as well. So people played two Twin Twister. Um, and then also, because there was more mirror matches, we played the Shared Ride. This card was nuts in the mirror match. It was also nuts against Goki as well. Um, and the Dark Warrior variants. Um, also later down the line, it was really good against Thunder Dragon. And then to wrap things up play the upstart goblin so that's what the deck in its origins kind of looked like um give or take the deck um it changed you know towards 2019 season when mystic mind got released when there was less mirror matches it adapted and it kept adapting all the way up till the end of 2019 um you know like winning ycs london and then it was still seeing play after that and still sees play to this day i've got a deck profile on my channel for first place locals that is without engage um so yeah the deck is just crazy it's really fun and um, if you want to pick it up now i know most of the deck is like commons and stuff um but yeah it's one of my favorite decks of all time so i thought i'd show um a deck profile of what it looked like in its prime and yeah so i, I want to make this thing a series i want to do like uh, flashbacks and blasts from the past decks in their origin when it got first released um, just to give more new players some insight and to give them some nostalgia to uh, older players as well. So if you guys like this idea, leave a like, subscribe. Um, I'll leave a link to my Twitter and Instagram below. And uh, Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Goodbye.